Hey guys, it's Jason with Town of Precision. Hey, we've been having some questions on how to connect Climate Field View to My John Deere Op Center. And the benefit of doing that is to sync the Field View Plus data from there to the John Deere, John Deere Operations Center and from the John Deere Operations Center back to Climate Field View. Now, this will include planting data, sprayer data, and harvest data. Those would be the the three main things you'll look for. So to do that, we'll start here on the climate.com website. We're gonna log in. And then we're gonna come over here to the top right-hand corner where it says settings. We'll select that. We'll choose account. Once that loads, we're gonna come down here to where it says my John Deere and we're gonna hit connect. Now this is where we're gonna need your uh, John Deere Operations Center username and password. See if I can get the password right. And it's going to ask if you want to allow the files to upload and download between them. And we're going to say allow access. Now, the one thing is if you're using field view for planting data and the John Deere Operations Center for your harvest, um, when you're planting, make sure that you are not uploading a planting data map with the uh, John Deere, uh, whether you have a 4640, 2630, uh, do not be mapping with that. Uh, make sure you're only mapping with field view plus or the iPad because that will create two planning maps and um, we only want one in there. So here uh, we're choosing who we want it for, Bryant Tonner Farms, we're gonna save that. And then once that's done, we're gonna come in here to edit settings. We're gonna turn retrieve field data on. Now it's gonna start the sync. We're gonna choose all organizations. If you want to select the organizations, you have multiple ones, you can choose which ones you want to connect. Uh, since we we'll have one, it doesn't matter which way I do here. I will hit save. So the first sync is started. So now I'm going to come here to my John Deere. We're going to log in using that username and password. And once we get logged on here, so it comes through. We're gonna select on the operations center. If you're at the top where it says setup, top left hand corner, we're gonna come to connections. And so we've already done the one connection with climate where it will sync um, the John Deere data to climate. But now we need to be able to pull it back down. So this is the connection we have just made. So we'll go through to the search bar. Let's type in climate again. And so right here, we need the data retrieval from climate field view. Field view. So this will pull the data from field view now and put it into the John Deere Ops Center automatically. So now we need to connect this. And you can choose which maps you want to pull. So in this case, we're gonna do seeding and you can choose how far back you wanna go. Um, I don't wanna go back quite that far. So I'm gonna to go to January of 22. It's as far as I need to go. And if you wanna pull over harvest maps, you can choose harvest and do multiple ones. But in this case, I only want to do um, Actually, I'm going to do harvest while we're at it. First, you know what? Connect. You can, like here says, you can't go more than 10 years in the past. So if you want to do a different date, you can. We're going to hit connect. And now you're going to use your climate field view 
login information. It's going to ask if you can retrieve that information. We're going to allow it. And there we go. Now it is connected. So we can exit out of this. So now we have the climate field view connection and the gender retrieval connection made. So that will sync both ways now between the two. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call, email us, whatever you need. Uh, I would give this about 24 hours to sync between the two uh, before you check back in on it and make sure that the, the, the data is moving. And that's all I have. Thanks.